Hello, my name is uh, Jacob Tassi. I'm VP of Engineering, VP of Technology uh, for Stoffer. Um, I'm here to talk about custom context. Um, so what is context? Uh, context is a Drupal module uh, that we use to uh, handle a condi uh, conditions and reactions. So if a condition is met, uh, the, the functionality should react to how it, uh, to however we program it. Out of the box, context module comes out with all sorts of uh, all sorts of different cool tricks right out of the box. Um, so if I come here and go context, add a context, we can see condition-wise, there's menus, no types, taxonomies, paths, views. So all sorts of things that we're going to look to actually hit. Most common thing use uh, context is used for. You pick a path, um, such as front, and a reaction is adding a block to the front, such as uh, system powered by Drupal, and add that into the header. Save. Now when we go back to the home page, um, powered by Drupal's in the header. Um, so the most, that's probably the most common use of context. Um, however, a few months ago, I don't really write code at Stoffer anymore. I do more of the architecture stuff. And um, a few months ago, I was actually writing code. And the uh, requirement was, we have a block that we want to put on the side of the page. And I'm like, cool, no problem. Blocks on the side of the page. Like, however, the block title needs to change depending on what page you're on. And I'm like, why? Like, what is that? Um, so because of an NDA, I can't actually talk much more about why. But um, I kind of made a demo here uh, to show you guys. But first, uh, let's talk more about um, how I decided to handle this problem. Um, thought a bunch of things, and I was thinking, I'm like, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use context to change the block title. That, it's got to exist already, and I found out it didn't. So then I started diving in. I'm like, dude, how can I uh, create a custom context? How can I make my own little context? And uh, I, was, I was pretty wowed on how easy it was and uh, just how uh, object-oriented they made their, uh, their back end to be able to create these uh, new contexts. So first thing I'm going to talk about is reaction. So this is what actually happens to the page. And so my reaction in the uh, example I give is if the path is like node 2, change the header of this block. Simple reaction. So um, first thing you got to do, hook context plugins. So hook context plugins has, um, it's quite simple. It's, you just uh, say, here's my new plugin. Um, and I named mine context block alter context reaction because I was building something for the first time and I wanted to put a bunch of words in there. Um, it, could be really, it could be a lot shorter. Uh, and then handler, and then just like any Drupal hook, there's a bunch of uh, bunch of given um, default things like path. Where's my class? So by handler, we're talking about the class. So yes, they use a class to actually manipulate how they actually create it, which got me like, oh my god, a class! That's awesome. Um, so handler path, I'm just telling it where my actual class is going to be. File, what my file is going to be named. So you just take kind of file and path, they're going to stick that together. The class, that's the name of the class, so I'll show the class here um, in a second. And then the parent, the parent is actually what it's going to be. So context reaction, um, that is because it's a reaction, that's the parent that we're going to name um, our context. So path, path to the plugin, file, file name to look for, class, the name of the class you're going to write about, and then parent is the class that you're going to be extending. So um, is either your condition or your reaction. In our case, it's a context reaction. Um, context hook registry. So now we're just going to register um, the information about the actual uh, context that we have. So um, as, we as I saw in the quick little previous demo, I was able to select blocks, and then the block thing came up. Well, that whole block, that is handled through the registry. So this is registering the kind of front end stuff that you're going to see. So the plugin kind of registers how the back end code is going to work. The register ha handles how the, the front end. Here, um, I'm called mine block alter, gave it a little description, and I 
tied it to the plugin that I uh, made previously. And that's it. Those are the two hooks, hooks that you need to start off uh, your custom context. Um, so what you also need to do in, um, for this is to indicate when you actually want this reaction to happen. So for my case, I wanted to change the title of a block. When did I actually want to do that? Well, I tried a bunch of previous things, like uh, a bunch of block alters and stuff like that, and I kept running into uh, different ways. If you custom make a block versus create a block through the GUI versus create a block through views, um, they all changed them at different times. So I was like failing at like half my blocks worked, half my blocks didn't. So then I just said, uh, forget about it, and went to the pre-process of the block when everything's been coded out completed, I then go, okay, now I'm going to change it. So I let it set itself and then I manipulate it after that. Um, but all you have to do is you have to call context get plugin, block alters my reaction plugin, block alters its name, if it exists, um, you could pass in variables to it and you just execute it. Um, just like, uh, so basically all it's doing is it's calling the class, it's setting the class to uh, dollar sign plugin, and all I'm doing is calling the function execute in the plugin class. Um, so classes, yeah, seriously, demo time. Um, so, so here I have my module. So as I said, I just showed you the three functions of my module, and that's it. So then it calls over the class. Class is a PHP class, pretty typical. Pretty you know, object oriented, and you know this is basically where Drupal's going with Drupal 8 stuff as well. Uh, so I was really excited to actually be playing with classes. I love writing classes in Drupal all the time. Um, over at Stoffer, we like just class, 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 because you know, it seems the right way to do it. So um, here, the name of that class that I uh, provided in the plugin is Context Block Alter Context Reaction and it extends the context reaction class. So basically everything that has to do with context is already done for us. We don't need to copy anything, we don't need to do anything. We just have to uh, overwrite a few, um, a few of their functions or actually fill in a few of the functions because we're already extending all the content reaction we have. So here um, I made it form and I got carried away with it. But in basics, all this thing does is it, uh, there's some JavaScript to it, but um, all it does is it calls all the themes that have been enabled and then grabs all the blocks for that theme and then attaches a text field to each one of them. So that way uh, I could basically put in whatever block title I want for whatever block on whatever theme. Um, and as long as it meets its conditions, it's going to execute. So the options for submit. Um, in the back end, context is really cool because each one of your contexts, it stores all the conditions and reactions in one giant um, serialized block of data. You never, you, it's not really great for querying, but at the same time it's really cool because you don't have to worry about saving it in any certain way. You just kind of package it up and send it through and um, context handles the rest. Um, execute, here's that uh, execute function I called back when the block preprocesses. It goes and ch checks the theme and uh, there's a lot of checking on base uh, on the reaction, the theme to make sure that the current block is displayed and ready to be altered. And then all I do is change the title of the block. Um, so let's go ahead and check out that reaction right now. So here's my homepage. I've already made a block um, and I made a bunch of bios. So for my example, I've got uh, Chris, Oscar, Roger, and Jacob. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna talk about conditions real quick and then I'll come back to that. Um, so conditions talk about this say real quick because it's almost identical the parent changes so instead of context reaction we call it context condition but everything else is the same as far as the hook plugins concerned the registry identical same thing so except for my registry goes into conditions rather than reactions so it's just kind of just change your words around and you can create a uh, register versus a, a reaction or a condition either way um, the, the other function that kind of comes into play with conditions is when to start checking for the condition. And so there's a hook context page reaction. So after everything is possibly like loaded, uh, there's a hook in context that kind of calls, hey, let's do something. So here I just called this hook 
And um, for this con condition, I made a very unrealistic condition of f your node is any of node number between 0 and 10. So that's pretty much it. So here I just check, are you a node? If you're a node, um, pass in the number, and we'll check that number to see if it matches the node number that's being currently viewed. Pretty simple, uh, pretty simple little uh, rea uh, reaction. Um, so yeah, here, uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. So here's one module, block concept alter, and here's my little node range module, and it's, as I said, here's the module, one, two, three. Simple as that, not really need to get anything in the module. The class, only difference here, I'm extending content condition rather than content reaction, because the classes have different functions within them. Um, I'm not gonna go back and show all that, but it'd be, if you, you know, feel so inclined, you should check out the different classes and all the different stuff that you can do with it. Here, rather than putting together a form, I'm kind of using uh, out of the box, uh, the out of the box class condi context condition, which just makes a bunch of check boxes. All you got to do is pass an array of values, and those are going to be the values for all the check boxes that you pass in, 0 through 10. Um, and then the execute. This, uh, this gets the context, fetches, uh, fetches the values, and, goes, and all it's doing is it's looping through all the values to check, did my condition meet? If my condition did meet, do all the uh, reactions that are co uh, that are attached to it. Um, so yeah, it, it really it really takes away a lot of the code that I really need to uh, worry about. Cause, so that made me a lot really happy because I'm like, oh man, if I'm writing context, I have to worry about all these different things. And it's like, actually, no, I don't. They kind of handle it for me. So um, so if I go over here to my context, um, I made the site real quick. I have bios of different people for our employees, and I have a bunch of events, and the events uh, entity reference the titles, and so the view is just all the events attached to each bio person. Um, in my example, I have uh, Chris, the CEO, who wanted to change his block title. So uh, we went ahead and said, use my new node range with a bunch of checkboxes here, 0 through 10, He's node number two, so I say, okay, click. I want it for node number two. And then I open block alter. My front end theme is Bartek. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. And um, a little drop down here of views events, and it says, check out what Chris is doing. So if I go to the home page, company events is my default view title. Uh, so, oop. so if I go to node slash two, I got Chris's page. Chris's page says, check out what Chris is doing. So if we go over to Jacob's page, it still says company events. And, you know, I'm not about to be, uh, you know, left out of the loop on that one. I want, it, I want my block to change, too. I want it to say something a lot more fancier than the CEO. So, um, so I come back over to context, and I... Go to Jacobs here. I've already kind of created it. My node range, yeah, my node is three. You could use paths. You can use uh, different things. But I'm just using the one that I created because I like that. Block alter. Let's go ahead and open the blocks. Let's open this up. Let's go down to views events block. And let's change this to Jacobs events are the best with three exclamation points. So I save that guy. Maybe I save that guy. Okay, there it goes. Um, I bring back this. I refresh my page, and now Jacob's events are the best. Um, so now I am just as special. Four Oscar company events. Five Roger just company events. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I was very impressed with context on how they actually implemented their hooks in the back and made their hooks just set up the class and then it's like handle everything through the class, object-oriented style, and uh, and uh, basically, yeah, rock out that way. And it was, uh, it, was a, it was a pleasing experience creating a custom context and it was one of those that I'm like, oh, man. I wish I knew this how easy this was before. I'd have probably made a bunch of them earlier. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my speech.
Fifteen minutes, dude.